Hello, my name is Barbara and today I will show you everything you need to know about transposing and scan score. ScanScore offers you several options for transposing. I will show you four different options. And you'll soon see which method is best suited for your project. Let's start with the easiest case. You don't want to transpose the notes at all. You only want to adjust the playback. Maybe because you have a transposing instrument in the score. Just use the mixer and tune each voice up or down in the semitones as you need it. I'll do it in this score example. This is how it sounds without transposition. And now I'll just tune all the voices down by three semitones. Most often, you will want to transpose the notes. In this example, I'll transpose the vocal from A flat major to, say, F major. To do this, go to selection mode and then click into the voice box. We'll select Organize, then Transpose key from the menu. This is the Transpose key window. Here you can select your desired key in the left pane. We will select F major here. On the right you have more options. Do you want a sign inserted before a key change? And, very important, do you want all staves transposed or only the selected one? And finally, shall the notes climb up or down to the desired key? Let's select down. And lo and behold, the entire vocal part has already been transposed to F major. Of course, you can also transpose all staves at once. To do this, select the option Transpose all staves in the Transpose key window. Now the whole score has a new key. Let me show you a few tricks. Click once next to a track to select this line on the page with its notes. If you double-click, the complete track will be marked. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move the notes diatonically up or down. If you ever need to transpose by an octave, you'll do it just the same way. Mark the track by single or double click and move it diatonically with the arrow keys. Seven steps correspond to one octave. Our last example is transposing, including changing the clef. So for example, you want to transpose this tenor voice to the bass clef. To do this, first open the clef toolbar from the menu at the top. Now we select the desired clef. Back in the score, we use the selected clef to replace the old one with a single click. Beware! The notes have not been transposed. I am going to mark the stave just like before and move the notes with the arrow keys of the keyboard. Be careful, the notes have now moved far upwards because they were originally notated in treble clef. We will now move them back to the desired pitch. Once you have exchanged the clef, you can also move the notes to another key via Organize and Transpose key. Do you have any further questions? Then check out the support section of our website at scan-4.com slash support. We'll find more help and other tutorial videos here.